Hello everybody. What's up? And welcome back to another episode of Agents Aftershock. We are, man, this episode. Uh, yeah, this episode. This. It raised several, several questions for me. I don't know about you, but. I was, uh, it raised some questions, but. I got more answered than than this is was true. raised. This is true. Uh, I had a feeling we would. Uh, I had a feeling what most of the answers were going to be, but again, I ended up getting a lot more questions out of this than I think you did. So let's go ahead and get your answers out of the way. What did you get answered that you enjoyed? Ghost Rider. <laughs> it was. Yeah, we find out that it's not. Uh, it uh, it's the spirit of vengeance. It was not the devil. Not uh, directly, anyway. No. Um. I'm uh, not real. I'm not real sure about this. I don't know if they're going to introduce the idea of other writers besides Johnny Blaze being active at the same time. Yeah. Because infecting somebody else essentially with the Ghost Rider does not seem like a very Johnny Blaze thing to do. No, but it was one of those. Uh, so for them who haven't seen it, like what happened is. Uh, he was, you know, it, it came a little... Very flashback heavy episode. Yeah, it was very flashback heavy. Um, Robbie and his little brother were took his uncle's charger out and they were going to uh, go race. And it turns out that uh, the guy, the uncle was working with that he put in a coma that died last episode... Yeah, he was, put his hit out ...was on the one the who, who put the hit. It wasn't, it wasn't for Robbie and his brother, though. It was for, it the, was for uncle. the uncle. And yeah. They just happened to be caught in the crossfire, which I really like that idea. It's like, okay, so this wasn't some really stupid-ass idea of them no, it was having just, some kind of vendetta. No, it was a mistaken identity. They right. were in his uncle's car. Yeah. And, uh, and, you know, this gang shoots the car up. It explodes. They go... Uh, explodes is a little... Uh, well, it... It overly flips. dramatic. Yeah, it does it does a flip? Uh, he does get injured real bad, but uh, like I said last time, if you were in a car crash that severe and got shot and got Molotov cocktails hur hurled at you, and the only thing that's wrong with you is the loss of the lower half of your body's movement, you got out really goddamn yeah, well, lucky. Well, the brother he said he's never complained about it. Right, like, and he, I really like this concept. Uh, he's a tough kid. Um, the brother is very much like, don't try and justify the fact that you're going out slaughtering people by saying that it's because you're avenging me. Well, this was at the point where the brother's memory of what happened and what really happened differed. Like, he remembered uh, the car crash, the car mm -hmm. flipping... Uh, Robbie got thrown from the car, and he said it was at that point he just started praying to anybody. He, he called out for help to anybody who would listen, and it was the writer that answered. Yeah. Um, and so, again, that raises my question, Are do we have multiple writers? Well, there's only been, if I remember correctly, four writers in the Ghost Rider universe. Um... Johnny Blaze, uh, the one from the 90s, uh, oh, yeah, 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 I can't quite remember his name, but his powers were from a talisman, um, but his talisman, a talisman and his motorcycle, they, he wasn't the spirit of vengeance. Yeah, they went kind of an anime look with him later on. Yeah, and then, it looked really dumb. You had the Fear Itself writer, um, she, it was a girl who was trained her whole life to be the writer, mm -hmm. and she got the spirit of vengeance put in her. Um, later, Johnny Blaze did take it back, so she still has some of the Ghost Rider powers, though. Okay. Um, and then you have Robbie, who his uncle was his spirit. Right. Um, this... Well, again, the only real reason I say there could be multiple writers active right now is, again, because... Putting Ghost Rider into somebody else doesn't really seem like a very Johnny Blaze thing to do. Yeah. Unless they're going to take a weird character divergence from him. Yeah, but um, we find out it wasn't the devil, it was it, Johnny yeah. Blaze. It, Supposedly, that's the idea we're working with. Anyway. Yeah, um, it could have been the other guy, but if it was the other writer, I don't see... I want to say the other writer's name was like Danny. I have no idea. Um, 
That sounds right, though. It um, was the 90s, so it was, it's something like that. It was something like Danny Chase or something like that. It, it was, was not Danny Chase, I can guarantee you. No. Uh, I heard his name a little bit ago. It just... Yeah, no. It, but, um, he, he was one of those 90s ultra-forgettable characters that was just like, well, I guess you're here and you're done. Bye. Yeah. Um, but they, but the, the spirit of vengeance was passed on to him, which means that essentially there are other writers and other things out there right. in the universe. Which I'm totally down for. I, I'm not averse to that idea. There have been some comics that have played with that idea. There was one that introduced the idea that the writer has taken multiple forms. Specifically, there was like a tank crew in World War Two. Yeah, that was played host to the spirit of vengeance that rode through uh, the European theater. Well, even uh, the destroying mo- Nazis, even which in, sounds badass. <laughs> even in the like the terrible movie, there were two writers. <clears throat> like the, the yeah. first one, there were yeah. two writers active at one. But uh, you, you say that's terrible, but it's not as bad as Ghost Rider Two. Ghost Rider Two was awful. It <laughs> was. Especially the whole, now I'm the angel of vengeance, and my flames are blue now. And <laughs> really? Let's... That's the part that was awful for you? The whole... It wasn't Nicolas Cage getting right up on somebody? He's like, the writer wants out, man! He's scratching at the door! He's scratching at the door! <laughs> A friend of mine pointed that out to me, that A, that had to go through Nicolas Cage's mind and say, you know what, this is fine. It had to go through the director's mind and say, yeah, okay, that's fine. It had to go through a producer who said, yeah, okay, this is fine. An assistant producer, two editors, and a screenwriter who all looked at that and said, yeah, this is fine. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest, though, the Marvel Knights movies were terrible. Uh, the first Cause... Blade... No, that wasn't a Marvel Knights movie. Was like, that not a Marvel Knight? Uh, no, we got... Uh, I thought that was branded as one. We got Punisher Warzone. Blade 2, though. Blade 2 is directed by Guillermo del Toro, and is actually kind of badass. Yeah, but Blade 3 was terrible. Well, that's... Neither here nor there. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, back on track to... Uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, I, I definitely... I like the fact that Robbie's origin was... It was given, and we find out, you know, it's not the devil. It, it, this is not yeah. the devil. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of actually okay with that, because it seems to me Robbie's a fairly smart guy. Yeah. Um, if the devil were to walk up and say, for your soul, I'll save you and your brother, he'd be like, you know what, we're good. Uh-huh. We're good. Uh-huh. But <clears throat> much rather having the writer thrust upon him kind of adds this extra weight to him that it's not something he asked for. Well, with, specifically, with the, everybody else sought vengeance. They sought the anger. Yeah, with uh, what uh, Netflix uh, they have announced that Ghost Rider would be the next one to probably get his own Netflix series. Sweet. Um, they've said Ghost Rider and maybe Moon Knight. Um, I'd be down for a Ghost Rider series. I think what they could do, since they've already introduced one, if they do do the concept of multiple writers. What they could do is have a show based on two different writers. Like, do an episode of one writer and do an episode of the second one. And then they kind of converge. Yeah, like, make it, like, a big event where it takes two of them to... Maybe the last two episodes have them come together. And also, I mean, with them already setting this up in S.H.I.E.L.D., you could have Robbie confront Johnny and be like... You did uh, this. I'd love to see a series with Robbie and the Hell Charger versus Johnny and the Hell Bike. Like, I think that would be maybe a three episode where, like, they, they come together. And at first, they, they're they not going to work together because Robbie's got some problems. Yeah, Robbie would be very, very pissed. He's like, you did this to me, you son of a bitch! Yeah, it would be like, you did this to me. Like, um, I think we're going to get Robbie to the point where he's just tired of being Ghost Rider. I can understand that because being... It's a burden. (laughs) Being angry all the time really wears you down. I mean, you and me both experienced this with previous jobs. We did not... We're not exactly treated well or fairly, and that makes you angry, and being angry all the time just wears you out. It's the last thing. I would much rather be just be like a 
a job I'm happy at, like, now. Like, yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. It's I like get now angry every got, now and then. They're not but great, it's... but, you know, it's like, I don't I don't feel the stress or the anger at all. It yeah. just absolutely feels so much better. We also learned <clears throat> pretty much the, the length of Ghost Rider's powers this episode. I, um, actually, I don't think we even tapped the length. I like, to, well, we, I like to think of this as we dug a little deeper, but we essentially haven't even hit into what Ghost Rider can truly do. No, well, they well, were... For, for setup, let's, okay, let's, run, let's um, run through. Because they're trying to hide Daisy and Robbie they were in a trying to, pod. Um, Daisy goes and gets uh, Robbie's little brother. Like, they try to run with the story that he's a secret agent at first. Right. But then... Uh, Jeffrey boards the plane. I think you're getting your answer. I don't think you're going to like this guy. I don't much. think I am, which is kind of sad because I'm tired of people taking Jack Kirby characters and screwing them over. Well, because Jack Kirby was amazing. Uh, let's, uh, uh, I'm going to know if I can hate him or not when I find out where Simmons is. Yeah, that's probably going to be our big make or break because we're going to find out because she got assigned to a special assignment. And she got a bag thrown out of her bag head put over and head had escorted out by two agents. Yeah. So, I don't know... I don't know what's going on. I He's still written to the point where I don't trust him, but I kind of don't want to trust the director of S.H.I.E.L.D. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, it's like, I don't... I don't know where you stand, guy. Yeah. Just... But- uh, he's going through the ship. He's looking for Robbie and Daisy. Um, they throw, they put them in the containment unit for Inhumans, and they hide him under the plane. That's when Robbie tells his little brother what really happened, right. like what we've already gone over. We, we get, we and get our then, explanations. Then Jeffrey lifts, like he's like, Colson, I'm not dumb. I, I know when the containment unit's not here, and he lifts it back up. And he's like, we're taking, we're turning the plane around, we're taking him into custody. And at that moment, Fitz comes in and he's like, I need to unredact these. I think I found out where they are. Right. And Robbie's like, you know where my uncle is? And Jeffrey's like, no, we're not going there. This didn't happen. He's like, no, we're going to my uncle. And Well, that's the problem is I don't like Jeffrey, but he's 100% correct in this. He was like, no, we're, he's like, no, you're gonna go, and he gets mad real quick. Yeah, and And the rioter comes out in the containment. And he starts punching it, and fits it, like, they look at him, they're like, you can't get out of that. Yeah. He's like, no inhuman had it, Lash couldn't do it, no inhuman's ever gotten out of that, and... Well, see, there's the thing, is they've been focused with the genetics of destabilizing the inhuman. Yeah. And... The Ghost Rider is not an inhuman. He no. is an otherworldly being, and I like that they're finally embracing that idea. And he bust. Right, it took him like six or seven punches, but he bust right out of. He that broke thing. the door down, and was then, just, everybody freaked the fuck out. It's like, oh my god! And then why? It, him and Jeffrey went at it, and Mister Super Strength got his ass. It. Yeah, I I <laughs> like the idea that he is the deterrent against this guy should he go bad. Yeah. If we find out he's bad, which I'm pretty sure because of this, we will find out he's bad in some way, and we're going to have the writer just absolutely kick the love, ever-loving dog shit out of him. Uh, I mean, he is, like, he, he kicked the crap out of Jeffrey. Yeah. And it's like, guess you're not so strong after all. Like, you could... But we find out there's a limit to him. Yeah, you could not... He's stronger down, than the average guy, but... He's not... He's nowhere near... He's not... He's not on the level of the Supernatural level, no. <laughs> Which I really, really like. And, like, if it hadn't have been for Robbie's little brother, he might have killed him. Might have. Like, he was... Like, uh, I guess it was kind of like the writer kind of... Aimed and target. Usually, the writer doesn't go after people unless they're bad people. Right. So I mean, well, then again, we've got know, he's hands. a shield. He's a shield agent, and shield agents aren't exactly known for being well, like the most kind and upfront people. We're well. I mean, even the writer, uh, Robbie, and the writer kind of like had to go back on Daisy. They're like, uh, should we kill her? Uh, the writer's like, maybe she's yeah. she's done some dirty stuff. But Robbie's like, man, like this one, it was both that were like, eh, eh, he's this guy gets ass woman. Don't and it like Robbie's little brother was the one who called him back 
And for the first time, we actually kind of see him revert back to Robbie. I, yeah, that was the other thing I really wanted to talk about. I like that idea of us, instead of seeing him explode into flame, we actually get to see the inverse and him kind of piece himself back together. It, like it looked pretty this. good. Yeah. <laughs> it looked damn good. Speaking of the writer, I do want to mention something. Uh, is that the ghost writer that gives Robbie the writer powers... Yeah. Looks entirely different. Yeah. From Robbie. I mean, he looks like a standard skull, but on fire. He looks very close to the next Ghost Rider. He looks like Johnny Blaze looks when he's supposed to be Ghost Rider. And so, I, it was just a small thing that I kind of wanted to point out. It's like the writer looks different person to person. Yeah. Um,. I think that's also why they kind of took the liberty with Robbie, and that like he doesn't look completely like his comic counterpart. Right. But he, I still would have liked the idea of the helmet being what becomes the skull and the flame vents yeah. outside. I think that looks really cool and stylized. But yeah, it was it was pretty pretty good though. We also got a uh, little bit of hints toward of age, season two of Agent Carter that nobody lost. <laughs> Yeah, I I tried to watch season two, and I fell off, and I fell behind, and I was like, oh, now I should have watched Agent Carter more, because I liked Agent Carter. I, I liked it too, but man, the second season was so hard to get through. Yeah, it, it was a bit of a, a bit of a snore fest. Um, <clears throat> that's why it got canceled, and she's on to another show now. <laughs> yeah, which is really sad, because I liked the character, I liked uh, her concept and what she did. And I would love to have seen her done better. Yep. Maybe we can get a Netflix Agent Carter series. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, and the only other thing we really got um, out of this episode, like, we mostly we got Ghost Rider. Um, but we also got a little bit of the uncle's backstory, you know, the guy. Yeah, he's he, not quite as... Uh, nice a guy who was framed as we were originally led to believe. Well, until, like, the last... 10 minutes that's what we thought yeah um and then just kind of out of nowhere he's like no i'm a batman yeah that was i think that's where your questions are coming from a little bit um, um i like the fact that they showed that ghost rider is not affectable by the ghost people walking through or hitting them yeah um once and again like all the ghosts are gone robbie well we say that but yeah. at the end there's no sign of fits and there's no sign of Coulson. No, Coulson was there at the end. Yeah, at the end, but not after the explosion went off. I thought he was. When... Nope. Okay. No, because the back lights come back up. That control room that Fitz was in is empty. The area where the uncle was in only has the uncle in it, who now apparently can manipulate matter. Yeah, let's, let's talk about that first before we... Okay, um... I'm assuming you did some research and found out who the hell this guy is supposed to be now. Um, no, he, like, the uncle is the the possessed bot. Like, right, right, doesn't... but if they're combining characters, has there been somebody who's been able to create matter from nothing? They touched on him in season one. Um, it was the guy with the, the gravity ball that got stuck in it. The one that went nowhere that we talked about? Yeah. Like, we see, we saw him at the end um, of the episode where he, like, punches out of the ball and right. then they never talk about him again. That's the only So, you think we might get some kind of a callback to that? I don't know. Um, I kind of hope not, honestly. I, I don't really specifically Reese, know Reese. who the... Because they were... Um, the Darkhold, they, the research he was doing was they were trying to create matter... Out of very little to nothing. Right. Um, the original experiment, they were just going to do it in a machine. Um, and then the guy that called the hit on Robbie's uncle, like, uh, Robbie's uncle at first did look like the good guy in the situation where mm -hmm. um, he wanted to, you know, stop this guy because the dark hold was, drove the first guy mad. Um, the guy that was in the hospital that right. died. Uh, the dark hold drove him mad. And he was going to turn himself into this person. Uh, then we kind of get the twist at the end where we find out it was Robbie's uncle who threw the other people 
in the chamber yeah. and turn them all to ghosts w- and put them in the little boxes. I'm not, I'm not real sure how much I, I think this is like a viable thing and how much of it is just, oh god, we need a credible bad guy now that we've eliminated all the ghost people. Uh, this guy was behind it all. Yeah, I I think they're trying to throw a nod to the comics by making him bad, but maybe. But I don't I don't know. I think it probably would have went better if they had had the ghost people escape or have her become more powerful. Yeah, but well, she was just wanting to become normal, and we find out why she kind of looked the way she looked with the blood and everything. That was yeah. Robbie's uncle did that. Yeah. Um, Again, it just it felt way more forced than I think it needed to be. Yeah. So. Um, but we, Robbie took her out, and then the uncle, uh, goes in this machine, and he becomes this person who can create matter out of nothing. It's yeah. just like... There, I made an ice cube. Um, Truly, I am a god! The only other thing that happened was, uh, Coulson found the Darkhold, and he gave it to May. And he's yeah, like, and the Darkhold is gone now, so... Um, May is in the wind with the Darkhold. It, he was like, you're the only person I trust. Get this out of here and hide it. Don't right. don't tell anybody. Don't talk to anybody. Like, May is completely gone ghost, hopped in her Quinjet, and is taking the dark hold somewhere. Hopefully. Hopefully. Um, no, speaking of the resolution for the episode, was it just me or did they just kind of really smash cut to them being at this place? Well, they, there, there was decidedly a little build-up, because they talked about needing to go there. They it, talked about it, what needed to happen to Robbie after they were done dealing with these people. And then it's like, smash cut! Coulson and uh, May are going through these other rooms. Uh, Fitz and uh, Mac. Mac are in the control room trying well, to figure out how to shut it there all down. Was it's just little, like, the, uh, I guess we're here now. The, it, there was a little talk on the plane about it where Fitz was trying to figure out. He's like, a little? He was like, oh, they need a lot of power. And um, we also got Daisy trying to hack in, but she's like, this thing's pre internet. I can't hack this. Right. Like, they're like, oh, you lost your skills. And she's like, no, this is pre internet. I, I can't hack something yeah. pre internet. It's not online. It's not anything. Nothing's connected. It's all ground based. <coughs> and they were but there gonna... was like no establishing shots. There was no. No nothing. They were just in the plane, on the ground, in the building. Yeah. And it's like, uh, okay. Well, you, you get Matt going back outside trying to Well, yeah, get but you get a MP. very small exterior, and it's just like, I guess he kind of needed to save money on your shooting budget or something? There's probably a couple of deleted scenes. Probably. I don't know. It just feels like there's a lot missing from this season that needs to be there. The off-screen fights that happen. Um... Parts like that where they're just at the place rather than doing like an establishing yeah, shot. I think it, I think it's more I of a time say, thing. I think they might be having budgetary constraints. Uh, it's either that or it's they when they were piecing together the episode and like because all these episodes have to run forty five minutes, right? Um, and it was, it was probably like, oh, we, we shot all this footage, but we went a little bit too much over on Robbie's thing, so we're gonna have to, to cut somewhere. Yeah, I think they could have trimmed that down by about maybe 30 seconds. We wouldn't have lost too much, and we probably would have been able to squeeze in a couple of exterior shots of places. Yeah. Just to establish what's going on and where it's going. That's, that's just me being snarky, I guess, (laughs) because... We have to do it. Yeah. Um, but no, this is a really good exposition episode. Uh, it handled it and paced it well, I thought. Uh, nothing felt too forced except for the part at the very end with the uncle turning bad. Um, I can understand why they did it, though, because I guess they're trying to stay true to the comic, and they also... Yes, but at the same time... Um, I, I, there's it three comes out of left field. They're... they're Three reasons why they're doing it. Okay. Um, one, stay with the comics. Two, to give Robbie somebody he has to fight now that he whacked out all the ghosts. Yeah, that's the cynical um, part of me. It's like, this it was done so that they can keep Ghost Rider in the thing. And three, to possibly set up a bigger, big bad. Like, they, they might use him to kind of 
direct the rest of this season. I don't think he'll be the full big bad of this season, but it it might link to 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 more Ghost Rider stuff. I don't think they're going to get rid of Ghost Rider halfway through. I think they'll try to use him all the way through the season and mm. do a build up to a Netflix series. Um just out of curiosity, since we kind of already ran over everything in this episode. I was about to say, do we want to do predictions or anything um, for next time? Well, or? I was going to say uh, predictions and also just off the top of your head, what actor would you like to see play Johnny Blaze? Oof, that's a good question. Uh, there's There's been a lot of uh, talk about like Norman Reedus or some other characters, ah. but he's, he's kind of like... Yeah, he rides a motorcycle in The Walking Dead, but he is very much heavily tied to The Walking Dead. Also, they're in the process of shooting Boondock Saints 3, so Norman Reedus Yeah, he, he's probably right happen. out. He's <laughs> probably right out. Um, would I like to see it? Yeah. I would... I'm probably going to get laughed at for this. I kind of want to see Mickey Rourke. I could say it. Yeah, I think kind of like uh, his portrayal in Sin City... I can, I can dig it, man. Uh, that's, that's who I would like to see it. If they wanted to go somebody younger... Well, you're going to need somebody in, like, uh, somebody definitely older than Robbie. Kind of in maybe their mid-30s. Also, um, uh, the budget can't be too fantastic on them, so we might get somebody mm -hmm. like, like a TV actor. Oh, snap. You know, the only reason I think we might not get Mickey Rourke is because he was an Iron Man too. True. But you know what? It's okay, Internet. If we all just pretend Iron Man 2 didn't happen, <laughs> I think we can all get along way better because that means we can pretend Iron Man 3 never happened. Up top! Well, I mean, they changed Terrence Howard to Don Cheadle. Shit! So we no. can't pretend Iron Man 2 didn't happen. Damn it! <laughs> all right, uh... You know, um, who I who might be pretty good. He would definitely be like a name they could get. Uh, he might be slightly affordable. Uh, the guy who was uh, Newkirk in the Star Trek series. I can't remember his name off the top of my Chris head. Chris Pine. Chris Pine. Is it Chris Pine? Yes, Chris yeah. Pine. I could I could see him doing it. He's a little bit too young for... I, I don't know if they could go too young. You can always make him look older. Yeah. Uh, I honestly... I, I always kind of went with the idea that uh, the guy who possesses the writer doesn't exactly age. Yeah. Because I think, I think they kind of got away with that because Johnny Blaze kind of looked the same in every single portrayal he was ever in. Kind of like in his mid to late 20s. Uh, super youthful and... Uh, it kind of works in favor if you want to throw in Ghost Rider, the movie, then you can have people like the old writer. Yeah. Um, I think... Or they just age at a much slower rate or some bullshit like that. Uh, my pick is kind of... So it's a little bit generic, but not really. I think Charlie Hunnam would, would be an okay Johnny Blaze. Charlie Hunnam. Uh, Pacific Rim. Which one was he? He was the main guy. Oh, he was uh, Riley? Yeah, he was also uh, Jax in Sons of Anarchy. I so, love Sons of Anarchy. Well, he, okay, well, he was the main character in okay. that. No, no, that so, could work. work. I mean, they'd have to, like, you know, uh, make him look more like Johnny Blaze, but, like, I could see him Pacific you know Rim look and dye his hair black. I take it back. I take it all back. <laughs> I know exactly who needs to be Johnny Blaze in this. Oh. The man we should have picked from the very beginning. And... Bruce goddamn Campbell. <laughs> we get Bruce Campbell in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I will watch every Marvel movie that comes out, no matter how shit it is. Is that why you watched all the Spider-Mans? Maybe. <laughs> I'm not going to say your name. Maybe I like Sam Raimi. I'm just saying, Bruce Campbell's a man who has charisma and charm. Just... <laughs> flowing out of his ass. Just saying. Alright, well, there you go. There you, you have our pick. <laughs> Bruce Campbell. Make it happen, Marvel. <laughs> Alright, then. Uh, any predictions? Um, I mean, I'm, I'm 
probably not going to have to step too far out on a limb on this one. I'm probably going to predict uh, the director is going to turn out to be a bad guy, or at the very least, prove to be not as good as we yeah. think he should be. Um, I don't think F uh, Simmons is any real danger. But I don't think she's going to be in the series a whole lot from this point forward. I think we're probably going to see a much better trend <coughs> Excuse me, uh, towards her probably succeeding the current director. Maybe. I, I have my own theory about where Simmons is. Okay. Um, my theory is uh, when they threw the hood on her, because he was like... Saying, you know, you're you're kind of the expert in superpowered people, and the government needs you to explain some stuff. I think that's where we're going to get our Doctor Strange tie-in. Maybe. I think, you know, when Simmons is revealed to be where she is, because Doctor Strange is, comes out tonight at midnight. Um, oh, that's right, it does. So, yeah, we'll be seeing it. We'll, we'll be seeing that tomorrow and giving you a review. Yeah. Um, Unfortunately, I have to work tonight, so I can't. I yeah. Can't go tonight. Well, this video, like, I'm gonna, it's gonna get up tonight. It's gonna be up tonight. Okay, good. Our doctor. That Trump. way, I won't sound like an asshole. Yeah. Um, Thanks for making me look like that all the time, buddy. I don't make you look like an asshole all the time. Yeah, all the time is the operative word. But anyway, <laughs> um, I think you know they'll pull off and be like, okay, we had some mystic stuff happen. We don't know what the deal is, but we need you to help us explain it. If she does pop up in the Doctor Strange movie, I will indeed be very, very surprised. I don't think she'll be in the Doctor Strange movie. I, don't I think, think she she'll to... be dealing with the aftermath of I don't think she needs to be there per se, but just like a quick cutaway or something. Something like people in the real world kind of seeing what the hell's going on or uh, I think... somebody monitoring. Or maybe that's going to be like the post credit scene. Um, I think they'll have maybe like Rachel McAdams pop up. Maybe. Um, like she's playing one of the... Like, she's kind of a very meh actor right now. Like, she will she could definitely jump back and forth. But they might have her, um, like, uh, Simmons talking to, like, Rachel McAdams. Because she's, like, the other doctor that Doctor Strange is usually involved with. Right. Um, that works with him. Uh, they might have her. And then, like, because she will probably see everything that went on. Um, the Poe's credit scenes, uh, they've already revealed what they are, and that's oh. something completely different. Well, they're not revealing, they're not doing the Planet Hulk reveal at the end of this, are they? Uh, Thor is in one of them, and the other one is setting up the bad guy for the second movie. Mm. Anyway. Yeah. Um, Ooh! Spoiler alert, guys. No, screw that noise. I just thought of two more people who could do it. Ghost Rider. Okay. Nathan Fillion. I was thinking Nathan Fillion. We could. I'm pretty sure he'll agree to this shit because he's every bit the huge comic book nerd that he portrays himself as. A lot of people want to see him as Star Lord's dad, though, and I would love that. I could see that. Um, he was in Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, he's think. the he's the voice of the guy who gets Groot's fingers up his nose in yep. the prison. <laughs> uh, it, either Nathan Fillion or Adam Baldwin. I don't know how I feel about a bald one as Ghost Rider. Well, think about this. Uh, essentially, Jane, but on fire. <laughs> now I've got you. Let's see what you did there. <laughs> no, I... He's, uh, I, he's used to being portrayed mostly as an unlikable character, because he is. Um, <laughs> he's used to doing... A lot of rough and tumble action stuff, so this wouldn't be anything super new for him. Plus, he gets to uh, ride a bike and uh, be an asshole. So, you know, most things up out of Baldwin's alley, I think. Uh, I'm gonna stick with my pick of Charlie Hunnam. Like, I, like I think you know, shave the beard, cut his long hair, and dye black. I'm still saying Bruce Campbell. Well, well, all right, all the way. All right. Well, uh, anything else, man? I think that's about it. Alrighty, well, uh, we'll see next week if we were we were right. And until then, we, uh, we will see you guys next time. Later, everybody. Later.